Didn't know they had lost, but very easily could have been. But you know what we just listened to again, which I really like my big takeaway for Legion was hearing Standy talk about Nero, man. This duo, if anything, there's some respect and some gas there. They might be fearsome. No, I, I think if you look at the Legion sort of matches from last week, three and one in search of destroy could easily be four and oh. They have looked ahead in that game mode, right? When we casted them, they were just a step ahead. We'll see if that trend continues today, Miami. Except oh, they, for round 11. They, yeah, yeah. They, they won 3-0. So we're still just trying to figure out what of that, that, that tier is where everybody is, but they looked great in their first match. Ooh, nice shots there from Lucky. And I, yeah, I was excited for the team, too, because you and I, listen, it was what, Method Sick back in the day that was kind of a sub player for them. And, like, you know, the guys that were, like, the young players got a lot of gas. It makes, I don't know, Metal's Journey, Lucky, those are the guys we talked about a lot, a lot that were making plays when they were, like, that top six team. You and I but like Vickle a lot, and he's a great player. There's potential here, man. Like, they could be nasty. Some people call him my son. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. No, uh, he is obviously, you know, he has been great in the CDL. And in the year with the Mutineers, probably wanted more, but put himself in a position now to succeed. Has his family around him. That's a great start. They break the P1 setup now into the P2. They're able to flip the spawns. It's everything you want. They are slaying. You see all the streaks on the side of Heretics. They are locked in right now. They do have some pressure here. That's going to be attaching Nero working through that back check in desk. Metal's watching the front side. They immediately has to flip around and try to snap onto that, but Lucky on five in a row, now one off that streak. See, I think, you know, if you were maybe a casual fan and watched and you saw Heretics 3-0 slam Ravens, Legion lose to Ravens, you think, oh, it was an easy win for Heretics. But the fact it was like a reverse sleep, a reverse sweep for Ravens and Legion could have maybe won that 3-0 kind of changed things a little bit for you, right? Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Again, it's still just very early in the year. Everyone's trying to figure it out. There's going to be some mistakes. You, you, you learn what you can from these matches. And it's like, you know, we have, what, like three weeks after this? You got a little bit of a break. So it's like, if you got a slow start, there's time to improve. If you're ahead, better keep at it. You know, there's time for people to catch up in that gap. So <laughs> well, yeah, we got to learn. Yeah, after this. Yeah, after this yeah. Week, you know, they're going to have to learn some new spawns, the updates that are, that are coming true, out. So they got to go right back to work. It's almost like the game just released yeah, again. Yeah. But for now, yeah, try to get Merry Christmas. Learn some spawns. Yeah, learn, learn some new spawns. <laughs> maybe some good, maybe some bad. You never know. But uh, yeah, you, you're going to have to relearn the game a bit. Some people are going to like that, some people aren't. But right now, Bay is getting right back into the game. Three kills come in. Lucky the last player there. But as we know with Terminal, it is all about these rotations. They're taking advantage if you can. Nero's going to find one. But the numbers over to Heretics, over to Orsberger. So I it felt like you had a really good grasp on how this was played last week when you were talking about it, what the importance was. Was there, after we saw it played in the league, was there any takeaways that surprised you maybe? I mean, it's really just all about security control. Yeah. Uh, so what you thought it was, sort of? Yeah, it, I think it's what we thought. It's just, are you going to be able to find any breaks? The one team who has throughout this game uh, was Miami Heritage. I think starting on the bad side, they've done a, a very solid job dealing with that. But Vegas do bounce back with a full 60 there at play. Well, some nice shots from Nero. And I mean, he has been stellar. Standy was nothing but gas for this young man. You know, we're taking a look through some of your, your hard points, like overall engagements. He's been leading the way. He's been flying. He's been frying. And I think just the way he's playing, we have a player as talented as Dandy behind him. Maybe this isn't the best map for that. You know, he's kind of all ARs, but I don't know. I really like this duo, even though it's been one week. <laughs> no, no doubt about it. Yeah, when they came together, I think, you know, the, the question was with these top tier teams, what SMG duo are you going to put together? And I think this, they have a ton of potential. A ton of potential to really pop off here in the lead. And they had pop off moments. Again, just a tough series versus Carolina, but got to bounce back. Yeah. I mean, I said it's probably when making a team these past couple years, probably the biggest focus. What's your SMG duo? I think once Simpin' Up Easy became a thing, everyone's been trying to. <laughs> what are we going to do here? Yeah, sort of, sort of match that for quite some time. It's, it's hard to do, but the, the lead's still sitting here for Heretics, but chipping away is Legion in the point, securing the time through security hold. Looking like potentially a league change here. It's the next wave of Heretics players looking to ramp it up. Standy trying to give haircuts. Instead, his hair is ripped off. Attached to follow it up. Looking for six in a row. Not quite there as he falls. But the last player was narrow. He's able to hold the point. Couldn't win the gunfight in the backside, though. Is lucky. 
is able to win that. Now with 30 seconds to go, though, we'll focus on the rotation. The lead's still there for Heretics. Legion not able to swing it their way. I mean, that is huge out of Metals. He helps out Lucky. Lucky gets all the attention on him, and then right through the jetway comes Metals. He's able to find a double. That flips the spawns for what we talk about. I mean, now you have P1 control. If you're able to hold on to security, you have P2. So they don't give Legion the full time here. They have a lead, and I just think... A uh, great play out of that duo, working through security, and just look at the map control that Miami has right now. A beautiful play from this team. Yeah, I think when I started, you know, my little rant, uh, uh, talking through some of the plays, like, it was all Legion control. And <laughs> during that sequence, I always see, I can see you out of the corner of my eye, like your hands start going, like you're, you're staring at the mini map, like getting excited, like something's about to happen. And yeah, they get to flip, they make the plays, and they, what, what was a, 10 point game, they push the lead out again. Yeah, now a chance though. Now you have Standy and hers now working through security. They're able to find a couple of kills. So you have 2 2 splits. Attach is going to read it. We saw his hardpoint stat. stats. Always stellar gameplay out of him in the respawn. Zero <laughs> doing what he can on the hill. Ah. He finds the double. While that happens, his teammates spawn up P2. Purs was locked in that down. So I gave all the gas to Miami, but Legion able to get out of it through P1. And just trying to not get in a big hole. I mean, it's just so tough to chain together points, so tough to have major comebacks. Try and stay within 50-ish if you can, and they've done that. They've kept it competitive. They've given themselves a chance to make a run. But now, here we go. Next hard point up, Legion is in. Maybe another chance for a lead change. Looking across all players, nothing too stand out. There's no one really dominating in this one yet, but still some time to play. Street going to come in, not going to connect. Journey, though, hit the shots. Another one's going to drop. Yeah, I mean, he's hitting the shots. Maybe just gives you that info, backs them away. Have to play around those trophies. A chance here for Heretics, but you see the close spawns coming in. So the two players here for Heretics have to try and slay. They are all by their lonesome for now. Standy's going to go through the pinch through Book. Is that enough? Not going to be. So the street, it helps out. You put the pressure on, but Legion, they're able to hold. Not only hold, but finally take a lead. They have been at a deficit for a long, long time. Now, they will go out in front, but it is a game of blows, a game of swings. And it's maybe another chance here for Heretics, though, when our next hard point gets up. But for the final 10 seconds, the rest of this scrap time, Legion will hold. But look now at that lock on the minimap. Playing about the pop, in position is Heretics. Their chance to make another run. I think my favorite part about this hill is somehow in game it's called Apron. It's called Apron. Yeah, yeah, no, this is called Apron here. I don't know. There was a time in my career where I really tried to use those calls because I was asked by a dev to do it. I would never call this Apron. I'd be like, good luck later. <laughs> That's not happening. Fire me. I don't care. Anyway, listen, <laughs> enough of that nonsense. Two heretics, listen to me go. Vamos. <laughs> no tengo ayuda de tiro. Pilar de P1. Tengo que ayudarte. Pilar, trophy. El de punto no lo veo. Un tiro de no sé qué hace. Hay que pinchar, eh. Tiro trophy aquí atrás. No sé qué coño hace. Estoy ayudando, Javi. Puedo pinchar, están pegando la racha. Pues anterior están pegando la racha, creo. Sí, era anterior. Están muerto. El de punto lo hace chale. Hemos remontado. Pilar, 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 Whole lot of listening, not a lot of vamos. They're getting slammed. Five points away from victory is Legion. It was six in a row for Standy before he dropped. Legion have taken control. They're breaking towards the point. Just have to hit the cross here, and that will be game if they can get in. There's still 30 seconds there. Nero snapping back, hitting the shots. If he wins this one-on-one, -on -one, doesn't even have to. Ball game. The help is there. Map one of the books in Legion. After trailing most of the game, once they got the lead, they now look back. Well, what was it? It was really through that P1. When they got that break into P2, or sorry, in P1, gave them control of P2. Uh, once that second rotation set of hills started, you had Miami with full map control, and they just allowed that break to happen. And you see what happens in turn of it. I mean, they just run away with the lead on top of controlling P1 and P2 on the second time through. I think they break plane. Right as we go into that, listen, you have to be able to respond with full 60s on this map. If not, that's exactly what happens. Yeah, you know, I said it's, it's, it's not always tough to come back, or it's not always easy to come back for the biggest deficit because uh, 40 or so, and they probably, I mean, they had to have outscored them 
like 140 to 20 over the final stretch, somewhere, somewhere like that. I may be making up numbers, but it was close to that. No, I, I believe your numbers. I, <laughs> I trusted. But, but when they took when they took the lead, it was about 150, 150, right? So from that point forward, that's what 110. They were down about 40 leading into that. Taking lead, so bang, Impressive. quick math out of Maven. Oh, guys, ah! guys locked in right now. Here's some highlights. But yeah, so you'll, do this, you'll see the score. I mean, yeah, Heretics should kind of take that lead, but a great game. Slaying wise out of Attach and Nero getting leading the way, but really just the whole squad. And you know, one thing we didn't talk about Purge, they went one on one and, you know, some criticism just with sort of his play. But a, a, a rookie, your first weekend, you go one and one. And I just think it's, you know, probably some nerves there, but played a much more solid game throughout this one. Yeah, I think that was when I asked you sort of like your takeaways from them. It was talking about their search and destroy gameplay and sort of like, yeah, Purge picking it up. I think you said a couple of different podcasts and we had a lot of different shows going to the community. That was one of the things kind of called out him sort of stepping it up. And I don't know, rookie is always an interesting conversation. We've had some of the best rookies we've ever had in the history of Call of Duty over the last couple of years in the CDL. And we've had people that have come in and struggled. Not everyone's going to make it, but Purge, it's still so early. We'll see if the young man can step it up. Yeah, I think the fact is with the vets on your squad and who you're playing with, I, I think if I had a rookie on my team, my conversation, my words to you would be like, listen, dude, it's not going to be the last time it happens. You're going to get put in a blender in this league at times. And I think, uh, listen, the single biggest thing maybe for a rookie it's like, what do you come into, right? Do you come into a broken system mid-year where a team's been getting slammed? Do you come into a, a, a top team just looking for a move and maybe some youth? This is sort of like a, a middle ground for me. Like, it's a solid team. It's a team with potential. You have some good pieces. It's the beginning of the year and a fresh start. It's a good atmosphere, I think, for him, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you start 1-1 one one again. I think the, the they probably wish they could be 2-0. But, um, you know, I think a lot of questions were around this series. I, I was favoring Miami, but now winning this first hard point with how good Legion have looked in Search and Destroy so far, they have the advantage. Well, I think you were favoring Miami most of that Based hard point. Based off one week. Well, most of that hard point, too. Yeah, well, I true. mean, they were in the lead for the first five minutes. It's just once Vegas got in control, they never looked back. They absolutely took over and dominated some uh, impressive individual performances as well. But we're going to talk about uh, the Miami roster a little bit and uh, what we like about this team. Uh, Felt better gassing them before that map one, they fell apart. But no, this we've been so excited because this is a squad but without Vickle on the team um, that was one of the only like true international rosters that's found success kind of in the league. You know, some of the UK boys, it, it's like hard to even like consider them international because they've been in the pro league for so long. But this was like, you know, like a Spanish team, a German team. Uh, they came in, they found success. Vickle's your favorite player in the world. You're pumped. Yeah, we're going to take a look at our Monster Energy pregame for the Miami Heritage. Continue the momentum. Well, uh, that slowed down, so maybe now you got to try to bounce back in this search to destroy. But a good thing for them, their control has looked good. Vegas have struggled in control, and it's all about their attack. 2-0, 5 ticks cap per round. So, yeah, when we get to that uh, map number three, we'll take a look at their offense. But maybe an opening there for uh, to, for them to get back in the series. Yeah, because um, I believe we're going to be playing, uh, it was Invasion for three in a row, right? And... Uh, Vegas, who they lose Invasion to? I think they got lost 3-1. I'm trying to remember what series it was. I was just looking at this before the match, but that's one of the ones they struggled with. Carolina, yeah, they got reverse swept, so. Y uh, yes, yes, it was Carolina that they lost the map three. So, yeah, maybe an opening here for Heretics. But the Search and Destroy, I don't know, maybe it's just part of me that whenever you think of international teams and you think back to, like, the old COD champs and uh, APAC teams, it was, like, Search where they'd come in and kind of kind of shock people. I sort of just like put that on a Spanish team, just like that also. Do I, don't, I don't know why. I, 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 I just don't. Like, maybe it's just like being involved in COD so long. Whenever I thought about like teams coming in from out of the US that had success, it was usually like search where they caught people. But yeah, it might just be because I'm old and just been doing this a long time. Yeah, sort of. That's it. Yeah, probably it is. You know, I mean, I, that's what it was for a while, man. Well, we just had yeah. different play styles, right? They weren't playing sort of the North American teams. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you play him a respawn, beat him 250 to 10, but search, you never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> search at anything, though. Just forge OA, forge OB. We'll be a little 2 2 split here. You see that cross from Standy. A lot of info given. Nose Metals is inside a broken and a very slow offense here for Legion. Just trying to play a little for a little info and then start their attack. See if Vegas can keep the search wins going. I mean, they. I, you look at the stats are all play. They all had around like a one, two, like KD. They were in form in search outside of the round 11 collapse. Now what can they do here? Slow early on its journey. That's able to find the pick. Still stay up out with his life. 
Now play behind the numbers. Yeah, I think they, they had the info on Journey, but, you know, no trophies trying to go for that nade. Purge instead gets caught. A lot of players, they just sort of just prone in that courtyard corner. He ends up getting picked. So now you have man advantage for Miami. 30 seconds left. Smoke is out. And we have to go. Bomb being planted. Not quite yet. Thought Stendi was going to hop on it, but now maybe after that, he's going to go. At least gets the trade. Forces it to two on three. I got a tweet. It was 130 to eight over the last three hills. That was pretty close. 140 to 20. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Well, I said I trusted your numbers. Yeah, that's ripped that one right out of my behind, Joe. <laughs> Can I say ass on broadcast? Sure. <laughs> it's a donkey. Yeah, true. That's true. an Good animal. Point, Joe. Good point. 1-0, Miami. 1-0 starts with that first blood. Purge just trying to define the nade instead gets caught. But a very slow round again. No trophies. And this was kind of the, I don't know, the, what we saw, the trend kind of on invasion. Either a very fast round, maybe up B street, or just sort of trying to find picks, trying to find info. Maybe what the weaker side is. Trying to get vision, some tags in, but maybe a couple wall bangs there as well. So, no drop. Tries to get the slide. I'm not going to happen. Trade though, instantaneous. Three versus three now. Bomb carrier, going to be Vickle. Still holding top side. Trying to work up towards B. He's putting a good amount of damage into Purge, but yet to get the kill. Well, the key here is, is nobody's on. They know no one should be at the B site. So, they should start to work up. Now, just watch this dark alleyway. Obviously, Purge can watch across to the bomb, but if they have a smoke, maybe that'll help them out. Then you just see what this does. Attach already has to rotate on over, so the A-bomb is wide open if they want to go back towards it. Maybe that's going to be the play, y'all. Attach is getting the info, but just with that one pick, getting broken control opens up so oh much on the my. map, but Attach hits the nade to make this a 2v2. I was just about to say when you were done, like, he realized he got one on the cross here. Give them a chance to the 2v2. Couple bullets in, plus an eight, beautiful. Size 13 sticking out, Purge puts him down, Attach drops him, 2v3, the clutch from Attach and Purge. Yeah, I love the other round out of Miami, just getting street control, knowing you had B control, what it did to Legion, but yeah, the, the nade comes in from Attach, then he sees the opening on the bomb site, props to Legion. Is there like a safer cross you can do? Like, I, I don't know, I just feel like you need to get there without dying in the 3v2. Like, I think they're just trying to go fast, right? Yeah. Just trying to go quickly. They know they're both B street, you're just not ready for yeah. that grenade. Just a hell of an aid, yeah, yeah. Pressure up the B Street. Trying to get nasty with his metals and uh, Vickle. The aggression, a little too aggressive. You stay there, L triggered. They try to send it, Vickle. His head's popped off like a plum. I mean, maybe, I don't know if they were just watching across, maybe just taking a risk. Standing gets spots metals, so they go for a very aggressive B defense, but both players get caught. Just trying to catch them off guard the way maybe Vegas likes to work A and then attach. Just kind of lurking up a street, found the opening, journey by himself, and there we go. Legion up to one. Yeah, nice clutch in the 2v3, followed up by a clean round. And I mean, that's just one where you know how invasion is usually slow. You're pre aiming, trying to get info on crosses. Sometimes hoping maybe you catch someone getting a little over aggressive. That's exactly what happened there. I mean, they try to push up B Street, they gets caught, and from there they handle it. Yeah, I would just say for Miami, you, you know, you just take that risk. But yeah, I, I think you need to every now and then just keep people honest, though. Like, take your shot. I would say on offense, maybe not D. Well, that's good. Yeah. On some maps, maybe. Like, it can be hard to, like, force the tempo on defense. That's just true. I just like it because I just like watching them fly, you know? Yeah, no, take the risk. I hear you. <laughs> Sometimes uh, that risk may not just be worth it in that round. I mean, we cast a jetpack search for years, bro. I was just four men flying at a bomb site. Like, two guys wall running, two guys yeah, flying like, through the air. An octane luminosity team go in search rounds. So, yeah. yeah, I retired. <laughs> <laughs> I was out of there. <laughs> we get to the bomb in 10 seconds. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm done with that one. Oh. Hey, we had uplink. That was a vibe, though. That's true. Good point. <laughs> Purge, line up another one. Lucky though, we'll get him right back on the feed. Now, another two versus three. Now, they've already clutched in one. I didn't know Standy's here though. I think they he found the opening. He might have. The door Surprise in his eyes! Standy is Maximus! Ah! Look! Somehow! Alive. Posure to reset there. Wow, not easy. Nice shot. Again, they do it! Another 2v3! 
First team was attached and purged. Now the other side of the team, Stanny and Nero, bring it back with the two versus three as well. And that is three straight rounds for Legion. Heretics are going through it. Just had no idea Stanny was B-Dom already, right? The way they were rotating. I like the way Miami have been playing their offense is uh, finding some aggression B-Street, kind of forcing some over rotations, getting the first blood, going back to the A site. And then one time an aid, that time you have no idea where Standy is. That was a good shout too with Standy because that situation, like, it's just awkward. Like, one side's across, they're both there. And a lot of times you just, like, put some shots in, you don't get either, and then you get dropped. Or you see both him back down and get out of there. The fact he got one and stayed alive, yeah, no, hell of a play. I mean, he didn't, it's not the prettiest kill, but great job. Yeah, some people shoot and just run away. That probably would have been me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm two, I'm out. <laughs> Once he slid past the car. Nice job, though. But... Heretics, I mean, you're also thinking, I mean, eh, it probably should be 3-1 us, right? Like, we got to clean some things up and we're in a good position. And there was another chance there. They had a very aggressive right up the middle of the map. They had no one over towards B, but 30 seconds in, we've kind of reset here. So, Javi's going to be the only player over towards this B site. Spots one, and it looks like they're just going to play this kind of retake. Saw this a bit from FaZe, just kind of giving up B, using nades now. Trophies are down. Nero has to deal with that. this alleyway. Attach, watching the flank. Bomb not down yet. Plank going through. Now the collapse. First pick for Purge. Stanny falls it up. People drop it. Journey says no, sir. Not to my casa, but it ends up going the other way. He will get dropped. Lucky now. Last alive. One versus three. One behind him, though. So he's going to be in a tough position here in just a couple of seconds. Trying to dance like a ballerina. Can't dance fast enough. Legion, four in a row. Yeah, I think he kind of spots him. You saw him working back blue, able to, to pinch that, gives the call out to his team. And yeah, if you're going to give up the B, up B, you're hoping that they don't have trophies. The smoke can go down with what we saw from week one, work that alleyway. They just had nothing. The trophies were there for Legion, and there was just no retake. All the numbers were over to Legion, and now they're up 4-1. Near on three straights. Uh, just, I mean, the entire team's had a part of a clutch. The entire team's getting involved. I mean, look across the feed right now. Fantastic stats there. Four Legion. Three of them at four and two. I said everyone had like a one, two in search for this team. It's been balanced and it still is. But Vickle, able to give numbers to Heretics. Now, they've had numbers a couple of times and they've struggled with it. Last time it was offensively, it was that kind of rotation from B over to A. They get caught from the uh, absolute Kobe from Attach, but. What can they do this time? I mean, I'm just like, boys, let's not throw away another one. They can see if they, they're trying to get an aggressive purge. It's a 3v2, though, so I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's attached to purge. It's the other duo, ah. but there we go. Journey <laughs> with the headshot. Bomb not being planted yet. Already at B-Dom, but they're just taking their time and some nice trades. I, I don't know if he was fully healed quite yet, Journey. Some good beams in. Purge up to 6-2. and two. Bomb being planted, so a 1 versus 2. And I think Lucky... May have spotted him. Looks like he's got all of the middle of the map, and now Metal is going to back down up. Just plays for the info. Backs on down. Oh, trying to tip a tap. Oh. Not going to happen, but yeah, I think that kill, the third kill, the one on to um, attach is the kill they just couldn't find in a couple, well, in the previous two rounds, they, they struggled. Well, I think that starts with the first blood. We saw that stun hit Nero's point of view, but Standy actually gets back DVD, and, you know, we just haven't seen, uh, you know, a lot of players play for that position, but uh, Victor ends up checking the corner. Be able to find them. So again, similar to what Miami did up B Street, tried to take the risks, and the risks have just not been, been paying off for uh, either team on uh, defense. Well, Legion. Um, That's just a replay. I, I get. Yep. Okay. All right. Good I call. Because I thought for a second, like the game crash, I was like, oh, that's not good. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Whew. My heart skipped the beat, Joe, but it does skip several beats, but I'm near you. I saw, you should probably get that checked out. That's not good. A regular heartbeat is, I don't think it's a good thing. I could tell you last time I felt my heartbeat. Is that bad? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I hope there's a heart in there. Purge with the first blood. Four versus three now. We'll see if they can work up on the bomb plant. I mean, similar to what we saw kind of last time. A slow pick. We saw Heretics able to do that. They found success off of it. Now can Legion do the same for their fifth round of this game too? Eyes on Vickle. But he's the one hitting the shots. Nate over the top, backing away from that to Metal's POV. We go. Simtex is there, so he tries to peek forward, gets dropped. Another one for Purge. 
Maybe a chance here for uh, Lucky to find the timing. Biggles just watching mid alley. No, or Nero's, or Nero's, Nero's gonna read that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the opposite of finding the timing. That was getting held. Yeah, I think my one key from this is for Heretics. Their defense has just not been strong on this map. They've taken a couple of risks, but every single time they have gotten caught. Uh, you had the one round where they did aggressive B. They tried to play the retake B, and then right there, they just get picked apart. So have to try to find something here to, to clean up their defense on Invasion. This should be one of those maps where the offense is like, where do we want to go? We don't have a lot of options here, and they're just giving too many openings to Legion. Remember those Spanish soccer teams, like those, those World Cup teams? You know, they're all, their defense was their offense. Joe's all about possession. Go have that. You can't do that here, Joe. That's a great point. 1-0 wins with 8% ball possession, Joe. That's how we do it. <laughs> we don't have much possession here. <laughs> Uh, Legion just looking for one more round to close out the map too. Take a 2-0 edge and yeah, many maybe favoring Heretics in this series, but not how it's playing out right now. The Vegas boys too hot to handle. Yeah, Metal's gonna have to back away. Just getting this for a slow defense. You have Nero just kind of hanging out towards back cube. One player looking over him, and Stanley's always been trying to find these openings. He's the one player. That's what he is known for. He has ah, eaten so many shots, and uh, somehow Journey gets taken down. There is a trade. That gunfight looked like zero fun. Negative, negative, negative fun. We wanted to see it one more time. It was so, we're, one more, we're gonna continue. Uh, wait. Oh, I, I think we're just seeing that. I just realized it's just an R stream. Never mind, we gotta look at different TV. Sorry, guys. R suddenly was a replay of that gunfight over and over again. I got put in some sort of hell. All right, so we're in a three on one now for, for Nero. We'll figure that out during this. Yeah, sorry. So now I realize they weren't seeing what we were. I'm sorry, what the feed we were casting off just sort of uh, broke on us there, guys. So thank you, thank you for hanging with us. <laughs> Literally, there was like the windy shots of that tank, and it, it was on an infinite loop for Joe and I. <laughs> oh, we continue on. So we are Legion one round away from going up 2-0. Good here. Purge up to eight and four. Again, getting aggressive medals in visual. They did get up B Street this time through. So B Street is theirs. I'm not sure if Stanley spotted them across. Yeah, medals inside of Broken. And there we go. First blood to medals. And Lucky's going to find one B Dom. So this time, that forward positioning, they're able to catch Legion. A chance to bring it back. Round by round, Heretic's looking to do it. Now the 4v2. Just close this out. You threw some rounds early. Don't let another one slip away. Attached, Mr. Clutch looking to maybe do just that. What a uh, reaction there. From Nero to back out of it. The reach is in. Metals though with the read. Attached will get another. So this would be a 1v3 for the ace if Attached was able to pull this off. The ace and the dub. One in front of the tank. We'll see you later. Oh, I thought he had the pistol shots over the top. He does not. Heretics, another round. They survive bit by bit. Yeah, I think the key there is in that three on two. Who was it? Metals that get, that finds Nero? I mean, that was like he, he gets caught back there, but at least finds one. Is able to, you know, take down that one, one player instead of it being a two versus two. So they have choked some of those rounds throughout this map, but big kill from him. Where's the first blood coming from? Heretics desperately needing it to stay alive for a potential round 11. Legion, all too familiar with the pains of round 11. Not want another one. In another map where, you know, they, they've been in control, but now lose a couple of rounds in a row. But back on defense with the advantage. Both teams looking for a pick. Purge through this BDOM tank. Almost finds one. It's sort of that line in the sand. Everyone just kind of stopping. Waiting for the first pick. Maybe with that nade, I think, does that hit Lucky? Maybe he has to back away, but no, he's ready for the gunfight. So just trying to find Purge. Oh. He is going to find him. Now he's going to back away. Now look at Mickles, POV, oh, trying to find him. See, so it's on through. Yeah, Metals just goes. But Bomb is down 30 seconds, three on three. That's what I was worried about. Like, D 
you lose bomb in too precarious a position, but Nero gets the kill and gets out. Stunned. He's gonna get stunned. They stun each other. Nero's able to get the kill off of it, but lucky there with the trade. Now to a two versus two we go. Heretics find Lucky and Journey trying to clutch up, push this to the final round. Bomb now getting planted. Attach and standing on opposite sides of the map right now, looking to collapse. Yeah, both players just trying to find maybe a timing here that Heretics won't be ready for. You have a trophy, Lucky's gonna throw that down. And he's just trying to see, is the push through Alley? Is it through the defensive side? But I think Attach is gonna wait for Standy. He's gonna be the key player here. You see where Standy is, number six on your mini-map. This one-on-one -on -one versus Journey could decide the round. Yeah, it feels like it's like set up for a couple of one-on-ones. Which will come first, or they come at the same time. Looks like we're, oh, it comes from the, uh, the other side of it. So Attach has to quickly hit the trade and take the other fight. Not gonna happen. Heretics do it. It looks like the way the minimap looked, I thought it was setting up just for these individual one-on-ones with the timings, but the shots through on the cross, but attached to the position, he's got a chow instantly. And now to round 11, we go. A big one here within this best of five. What a comeback from Heretics. Nice right? adjustments, finding I mean, their own. It did not look great for a while. <laughs> no, it did not. But six in a row for Lucky. Well, he was 12 and five in their first search and destroy, so. Well, to be fair, I mean, some gambles didn't work out. He threw away a couple of rounds. Like, it's not like they were getting smacked, you know? And they claw back into it. All the vamos. Now brought into this round 11. Lucky on a heater. Can he keep it going within this round? Where's the streak potentially come into play? As everyone bides their time for the opening pick, it's time for the missile. Will a trophy eat it? Will a face eat it? They catch Nero. They catch trophy. Nero running away though from B. He does not have a trophy at B, does Nero. So that means he tried to back away in ice cream and he gets caught. Maybe not by the missile, but by the repositioning. So first blood comes in, bomb planted on. Now the retake is Legion. Standing all the way through the spawn. Journey's not going to see this. Is that maybe an opening for Legion to retake? Just a sneak through. Will that be enough? Maybe for Stane to find out, but now the shots come in. The oh, problem no, is, yeah, he's got a rival this range. Good luck. But his shots bait out one. That leads to a kill for Attach. Now two versus three. Attach, Standy. You've already got two 2v3s. Can you do another one? Maybe. Attach with the ice. Still go. going strong, but he has got to go. 12 seconds through the shot, through the smoke. He hits the shots. Attach on in. Not enough time. He almost gets every kill, but it's Heretics with the comeback in map two. It's a frustrating start. They go down 4-1 early. They're 2v3 twice. But nothing but celebration at the end of it is Legion. Oh my god. That's they know in a row, right? 5-2? They were down 5-2? Five 5-3? Two? Five yeah. yeah. Whatever it was. What a comeback for Miami. 11-6, Lucky leading the way. Yeah, another frustrating one for Legion on this map. They know. I mean, they're, they're getting real, a little too comfortable with like comebacks and also getting come back on right now. Like it's just, <laughs> they're experiencing everything early. Are you looking forward to a Christmas holiday? Yeah. <laughs> stressful, stressful matches. Yeah, Legion already just kind of going through it, but at least you won map number one. True. So series tied up, one apiece. We're going to that control. Well, what changed for you? Like in the, was it like, was there some big change or was it more just like, you know, you threw away a couple, they started not doing that. <laughs> well, I think some of the risks started paying off for them, but the, the first bloods definitely went in favor uh, of Miami. And then, yeah, just taking advantage of that. And then Lucky getting that streak in that round 11, that was really the key. Cause again, it doesn't find the kill, but it forces Nero to have to back away from the bomb site. He ends up getting caught, so. They did a much better no. job on their defensive and rounds. That's, I think that's a that's a great call too because even um, you know I don't always have my eye on the mini map in moments like I'm trying to pay attention to the actual play. I think at viewers at home you miss things sometimes and you know we kind of like streaks have become a meme at times because trophies are so good. They don't get a kill. You see the trophy here, you're like oh what a waste. But might as well credit that with a kill, right? There there are moments where just the reposition alone. I'm doing anything I can to make it seem like they are. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it gives them the info, allows them to hit that kill, and then that B bomb site is wide open. Great job from here. Yeah, and Stanley's position looked good until I saw him shooting a rival at 200 meters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready now for a break before we head uh, to the map three. Um, so far, it's been a banger. An uh, incredible comeback and rally for Legion in the map one. Heretics bring it back in the map two. These guys are fighting right now. Everyone trying to show what they're made of before the Christmas break. Control after this break.
upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Don't miss out on all the action at the first Call of Duty League Major, hosted by the Boston Breach, this January 25th to the 28th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway in Boston. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to CallofDutyLeague.com for more info. We are back, getting ready for the map three. Cams to the players as they get ready to lock in. Incredible comeback there from Heretics. But we're going to talk about the Vegas Monster pregame here quickly. We touched on Heretics uh, briefly, you know, I think after the map one and sort of what they're looking to do here. We're going to take a look at the other side of it, Joe, and you can break it down. Yeah, I mean, we're going to control it. Got to focus on that, that often. 20% 20, 20 win rate on attack, 0-2 uh, in control. Keep up early round aggression. We talked about that throughout Search and Destroy, how good it has looked. But uh, Purge, get, get him going in respawns. Much better map number one for him, but they lose that search to destroy where they have looked so good uh, since last week. Yeah, it's like they're either lights out or just tough round 11 losses, right? <laughs> yeah, they're in it. It's just sort of, yeah, we're trying to, trying to reset, regain, which fix some of those mistakes yeah. when they have numbers. Yeah, honestly, like, listen, every match matters. You know, you're looking to battle for a position of champs at the end of the year, but like early in the year, Getting some extra reps and research destroy about probably the worst thing. Like yeah, just getting some, some like, clutch scenarios. Early losses, like yeah, it's not the worst. Probably thing. sucks in this moment, but maybe for like major one, right? We know exactly what we need to do to, to fix that that map moving forward. I think you know they don't scrim search that all that often. Like just extra reps doesn't hurt, man. Just more experience, putting in some tough spots. Like it's hard to practice search, right? <laughs> yeah, you know who's gonna be in the two v three? Every situation is different. Well, right off the start, you're gonna have journey. Already on this A point. Vickle looking over towards this A street. I mean, if you get a takedown or two off the start, you take that all day. With what we saw, it's already unlucky now. Doing it themselves. Attach wins a big one on one. Very weak. And well, Journey, I, I think maybe you just stay down there. You have Vickle look over your, your street. Standy was the last player alive, but instead goes for the peak. Maybe a bit of a highlight play, but instead does get taken down. Tough gunfight there. Vickle drops. They're on B. Not much progress happening. Is they're trying to get this first tick done. And uh, there you go. Able to do it. Looking over him. Lucky able to get the kill. Metal's just stacking the point for now. Now pushed up all the way with number seven. It's Nero. Just trying to get some spawn kills here. Maybe drop the reinforcements. Get pressure. Spawn them out. Don't let them work towards A at all. Get an easy transition. And that A actually did get decapped as well. So still halfway through that second tick, but looking like be done. And now they can start to work this two minutes off the clock. A nice start here for Heretics on their offense. And Lucky coming off that game too, where he's in double digits, clutches up for the W with that cruise missile. Five and two, five and two start for him. Yeah, you kind of mentioned it never got cleared. We'll see if that ends up biting them. Like if they get a clean break, I mean, half a tick is a, a, a substantial. And Journey. now you have an opening here to get onto it that could lead to a second tick, just having that bit done. Journey's already up there. Now they just watch the cross. You see all of Vegas, all the white arrows start to work in this area. Vigil hey. looking over him. There's that second it. tick. He would not have got it. He would not have got it if you didn't have that half progress. So you get the second tick. And will it be important? Will it be a round win? We'll see. I mean, ticks are the name of the game for maybe a round five having defense, but we'll see if they can get the round one. Yeah, what well, you had Nero really work up all the way A Street. Maybe he's the one player you want to to deal with that, but at the same time, it's like it's such an important position. Forces the offense to have to work through B Street or middle of the map. Take a longer route. But either way, we'll see if uh, if it hurts him. We're talking about Persian, his respawns a one in five start for him. See if he can turn that around. Yeah, you think like defensively get something going, but usually where you're patting the stats a little bit to control, but not able to do it yet. Look at this map right now. You have all of a, they, they are pretty much in their spawn. You have one player on the point. Like they're turtled up. Yeah, just trying to lock this down. So if this goes the way of Miami, that might be the round. But so far, trades going Legion's way. Journey, the last player alive in the base of Legion, just trying to finesse, play his life, get his teammates across the map. I was watching like old CTF teams turtle. I'm like, please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. <laughs> you just one way of your toast. But now they do a good job just making sure the comms are in sync. The crossfire is there. And once again, they light up the feed. They get the kills. They hold strong. And I mean, you don't give away the round, but you do give up five ticks of progress. So some good damage done from Heretics. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, just right from the break. And able to rotate on over after tapping B. Still some time here, so maybe a chance, but they're gonna have to go and they have to go quickly. Metal's flying on through. 
Journey gets cut down. I think the last player in position would be Vitriol, but Nero locking down the A Street. So back and forth battle, but Legion wins that defensive round. We'll see if that uh, one tick matters at all, but in the scheme of things, we'll see. But Legion, give it up early, but shut it down late. The defense just enough, but now we'll see what they can do offensively. Yeah, I think a lot here has been sort of just a break-offs over towards A. Do you, do you go for it? Do you not? That was a lot of week number one. The teams that should get eight done pretty much won the offensive rounds. Well, this is the one they lost, was it? 3-1? Like, I think they gave up an offensive round when they played this against Carolina, right? So they've definitely been susceptible to it and nearly happened again there in round one. Yeah, you played pretty defensive over towards A. You had medals and Lucky making sure nothing crazy was going on, but just a normal beat hit. Now you start to rotate on over, work through the middle of the map, use those nades over towards B, but Stanley able to stay alive and at least buy some time. No shots. Second tick now done, in position to maybe disrupt this will be Journey. But that's being held, good luck. Can't even really get the peak off, going for the wall banks is narrow as well. Uh, the other side of the street, they'll shut down any kind of progression and transition towards A. Now, first point is done. We'll see how they can do on the attack towards A. Let's hop right to a listening now with Vegas Legion. Pushing DVD, uh, we'll stop stop DVD, okay. DVD, Journey, pushing out DVD. No, holding DVD door. All right, we're gonna stop Lubico. Right. Journey with DVD, I'm on top of Yeah, he's still there, he's weak. I'm, I'm gonna run back for this guy. He's dead? Yeah, I'm gonna run He's gonna be bridge. I'm watching, I can't peek blue uh, yet. I'm gonna play for this guy, bridge. He's, he's, he's low, 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 I'm going back to the top. Probably top. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going back right. here. Yo, we're right here. I mean, lucky weak. Okay, no. Nice. Let's go back to the back. We have our back right control. Couches, right. Couches, right. Couches, right. Couches, right. Couches and back are blue. He's going to be in blue probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blue. One shot, Journey. One shot, Journey. I'm pushing out my AC. He's going to be top. He's very weak. Very weak. Go top stairs. Top stairs. Journey was AC. Yeah, couch. Fire truck. Fire truck. Fire truck. Fire truck, Lucky. One shot. And Vico was top blue. Absolute fire truck, Lucky. Mid tank. Mid tank and ACD. ACD and mid tank. Summon tank. You want tank and ACD? Yeah, blue, little blue, Vickle. Yeah. Okay. yeah, Vickle, Vickle, back blue, back blue, stay on one shot. He's back blue. And he's, he's red, just watching all of, uh, not five lives. like, P2. Okay, five lives, yep. It was a medals. Medals was to the left okay. here. Yeah, medals wasn't red. Yeah, he's knee, he's knee. He's knee, got me. Back to it, the hold, still strong. They found zero success getting across Vickle on five in a row there. He falls. Now maybe you're able to push through this B Street and start to move something towards A, but you're down, what, six lives? 45 seconds to go. Heretics have had him on lock. I, I mean, listen, Vickle wasted like 30 to 45 seconds of their time. He really did just, I don't know, finessing around blue. You had two players looking for him all the time, and then he's able to take down attach. Goes up to five in a row. So props to him. He was a treehouse running around, then gets the blue running around. Uh, he had them running in circles. You heard that in the listening, but they have had no pressure over towards A. Trying to work through B, B Street has just not worked for Legion. One last attempt, 15 seconds. They have to go, but nobody in a great spot yet. Attach the closest player. Attach going to drop. Not going to get there. Next person up uh, with a shot. Not going to be anybody. Not get there if you are narrow. So what? Five ticks for Heretics on their offense. You get three here. For Legion. They just never touched the point. No, that I mean, that was about as clean as you're going to see it after you lose the first point. I, mean, I don't think we've... So far, have we seen anyone just not even give up the first? Give up B? Well, if that's Cass, I'm trying to think if anyone's clamped him down that hard. I don't think so. I mean, maybe maybe one do. round. I, I mean, there was yeah. kind of like, do we just play really heavy over towards A and just yeah. kind of give up B? That, yeah, true. That's really what we saw. Yeah. And just deal with the A pushes. I just think that's one of the cleaner just holes we've seen for A. It just, it, there was never... A question. Yeah. Usually teams got like a chance or two to maybe make some kind of play, but not there. Early kills for Legion now. Puts Heretics on the back foot. The three on two you've got right now here if you're Legion. Yeah, with that clean break as well, you have Persia all the way up a street. So he, he's giving them some info on what's crossing, but Metals with a big one on one with that rival nine. Continues to use that sub. Some of these close areas. Get some more info, hit some more shots. And with three dead now, I imagine B should be done unless some nades connect on the Legion side. 
You have to attach drops. I imagine they're going to give that up. Nobody really in a position to do anything. You've got to lock down if you are heretics. So uh, they've only lost two players in that too. It's, I think it was the first two picks. Right, yeah, right Legion. The start. yeah, literally. They got those first two picks. They attach and purge, and then you saw nothing after that. Calm, clean, clinical. Now, I mean, you had perfect defensive A, you had perfect attack there on B. What can you do now? Can you get A this time around? Really take control of this map three. But so far, so good from Legion in transition. Yeah, you saw Metal try to clear that spot from Nero, but just uh, such a tough corner to clear. Bit of an off angle. Yeah, Purge working on up. Journey just staying alive, trying to get his teammates to get into this position. And maybe he finds an opening to at least stop the clock, and he will. Goes for the reach out, but Nero slides on through because Purge just been hanging out. We saw Boston do this a lot. Always have a player over towards these Humvees, not allow this spawn to come into play. And with that, the defense is held strong. That's what's so tough about A. Like, if it was in a spot that you could at least get to and contest, not easily, but you know, like get to it pretty consistently and have sort of like contest where to pause the clock and maybe play down to lives, just because it's really happy. It's, it, I mean, half the war is getting there. Yeah, with those crosses. Yeah, it's, it's just, just so difficult. tough. I mean, how, I, when, how long have you seen an extended contest on A? Like, it doesn't usually last very long. The fight happens pretty quick because the spawn's so close there for the defense. Yeah, here we go. Here's maybe a chance to go down and look at all the blue arrows are here. Just trying to deal with this four on two. You have one player on the point still. Standy off a of spawn. He will stay alive, but there we go. Gonna pause the clock. You, you do have lucky in medals in this area. Trophy's trying to get down. And with that kill, maybe a chance here, but still only one body on it. Legion know that, so they're just gonna take their time. Try to find the rest of the kills around the point. Well, there we saw Metals goes for the peak, ends up getting caught. Yeah, I thought he was just going to stay there as long as he could, just stop the clock. But, I mean, there's still so many lives left. It's not going to, it's not going to come down to that. You got two still trying to work up the B Street for assistance, but they're not getting there. Virgin Nero. Keep shutting it down. They get basically all the kills there through B Street. One with Vickle working the opposite side of it. But time is dwindling. No opening really here. Outside of Vickle, maybe making some sort of insane play. And then you kind of have this position where you're, you're all the way in the back if you are. The Legion, and you see, just kind of crawls on up. Standy does get taken down. He was on five in a row, so no cruise for Legion. Defense holding strong yet again. So, uh, what? Eight to three ticks, but you still had five ticks coming to play in that round number one for the Heretics. Yeah, that round one might be the difference. Just kind of came out and caught him off guard. That's why even though if you're maybe new to watching control, it seems weird to kind of praise them even though they lost the round. That five could be big. But probably the big chance to shift it on its head would be this. I mean, you get you get five ticks. We'll see how the defense plays out for round five. If you get them all, you win the map. So a chance for Legion to make sure it doesn't even get to that point. Right, and they're go. going with the early hit towards A. This is where success is coming. When you're shooting like that, Purge, nukes coming out of the MCW right now. On to the point, you've got two, maybe three about to stack it. First minute progress, done. Retake opportunity up and awaiting. Nero says, no, sir. He's finessing back and forth, trying to put him on skates. You're this. still on the point. About to be done. The break is in. They finish it. It is secured. And now if you are Legion, just like I was saying, you got a chance to make sure this doesn't even go to a round five. Throw that round one five tick. Give up off the board. Win the map here. There's that break off. And what a life on a first. Seven in a row. Ah. By the way. But the opening two piece. The beams across the map, front DVD, gives them the numbers, and then the three stack. We have not seen that very often. Nero does a good enough job to deal with one player off of sponges by enough time for his teammates. So you have the crews now to work with. You have a life advantage, two minutes. We're going to invest in this early to try and get beat done. Look them up in the series. People want Purge to step up, right? Like, you know, he might not even end this game positive. He's even right now, but it can be a game of small moments. And that there. The round four push, the beams, the seven streak, the double, everything they're looking for out of this young man. 
but you're not done yet. Heretics we saw with one point to defend on A, even though a little bit easier. They were disgusting. Now not going quite as clean. They're getting chopped up, turned into stew. On the point is Legion. First bit done. It's cruising, stacking the point. Everybody on Heretics trying to fly. They have to break now or Legion will win the map. They'll get him off the point at least for a moment. Yeah, looks like Metal's able to sneak through alleyway as well. So he should have this flank. At least deal with the players off of spawn, but with some positioning here from Nero, he's like, I gotta go help my team. So you can already see Purge is near the tank. Not gonna have that cut off now. They do. Lucky and Journey with the MCWs will connect. So one minute to work with. Still a Legion life advantage. This is where lives might come into play. It's a little bit different. You get more contest here. You have some fight on the points. You might stop this clock quite a bit. We'll see how it plays out, but still good amount of time to go. Metals and Journey doing their best to stagger this push. Lucky involved now as well. Standy dropped. That's all four dead and back to spawn they go. Is Heretics heating up in a big moment here late in this map four. Map three. Yeah, I skipped the map. Feels like a map four. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Maps one and two. There. These crazy comebacks on both ends. We might have another one, right? Just where Legion have that advantage throughout this round. But Heretics holding on, trying to get us to a round number five. Well, that is going to be two dead. Last two players left. Attach and Purge. Just waiting for maybe their teammates off a of spawn. But just look at the street control that you have for Metals and Lucky. This is going to look like an SD retake in a way. Numbers going the way of Heretics. I think with that one, that should be it. Metals locks it down and they clutch up. That's a hell of a regain. You know, after they had what? They had three down. You got onto the point if you were Legion. That was your chance to maybe win the game right there. You had one chance to retake it. Heretics do it. And from there, they don't look back. It was messy for a moment, but they got him on clamps again. Yeah, I was really worried when Nero got forward and, and found that double right front blue. I was like, uh-oh, this, this might be it. Because you saw two or three players for Legion start to stack the point. But I think their trophies were gone and Nate connects. And, you know, as soon as that hope happens, there's an opening. And with that round one, five takes, it was a one take difference for round number five. And Heretics... They're going to be on D. I just thought they were in. That was going to be more extended a fight. Like, once they cleared them off, they stacked her in the point. I thought that was going to take a while to get away yeah. out. It just, did, it just didn't. Just kind of bullied them off. So, as much as we were gassing up Legion and what an amazing break it was, at the end of the day, it's a defense for Heretics in round five. So, ignore it all. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a 2 2 split here, though. And they're working both points. One tick of progress done at each of them. Metal's going to have to deal with Standy off a of spawn. So. Already one take done. B is going to be done. So a lot of map control over to Legion. Sure. Objective work over to them as well. Yeah, it's a good start. But like, you got to be able to finish here. And they haven't been able to yet. Granted, it's one of the harder things to do right now in our current rule set is to get the offensive dub here. They've had some clutch moments, especially in that map one respawn, especially in some of the search and destroy rounds. They brought it back. What can they do now in this round five offense? Two players on this now. And Purge is inside a laundry, able to take down one, but the last two players are on a second tick. Done. Standy's alive. He's able to find two. Can't find the third. Maybe that won the Nero game. I think is that there. Won the game. Yeah, we're a bit damn close. Yeah, maybe if Nero is there to like put a couple of shots in as they cross you off his spawn, but mm, that one on one, I mean, he needed what? Like less than half of that final tick? It goes real slow with one person, but maybe that wins the game. He was weak, though. Not, a, not an easy fight to win. Yeah, it would have been an insane triple. Oh, yeah, that would have been that would have been nutty. But this is a, a much better offensive round out of Legion. Just already with map control numbers once again with the players over towards A taken down. Funny how round five things go out the window sometimes. Like it's like, ah. It feels that way. You have Vickle push up inside a cafe just watching this cross as the rest of the team, and they got to go. Now, 90 seconds seems like a ton of time, but like... Just like we saw, you know, in the last round. Yeah, it seemed like they had an eternity to try and work B, but it's really not. Because once you start getting staggered, once you get in this position where you have to work up through B first, it takes 45 seconds to get there now. You've got one. You might have one push left in the final 90 seconds. You know, like what we're seeing from Metals as well in sort of these retail situations, they're kind of waiting for him with the rival, right? He's the only player on the map with a sub. And he's winning some of these gunfights gun fights around win. the objectives. His attached starting to work through the defensive spawn. Waiting for the rest of the Here we go. That's three dead. dead. You've got Metals and Lucky up. 
spawns are kind of coming in all over the place. I, I, uh, God, it looks so good for a second. Attaching another bullet there. He gets flanked, and that took, what was it, a minute and a half? About 50 seconds there for that push, and it looks so good for a moment, and then spawns come in. It's tough. That next wave, like, they're just, like, spawning in the middle of you. Like, you're pushed. Like, it, it's hard. Yeah, it kind of spawned all over the place, but yeah, those, those subs clutching up for, for uh, Heretics. I think Lucky even pull, pulls one out. Or sorry, Journey pulled one out just to find uh, another kill with that retake. You have Stanley and Persh all the way pushed up. Just kind of waiting on them to see what plays they, they can make, but Heretics are hunting them down. Last player going to be Persh. And well, maybe with the Tactics kill, a chance here. Lucky's the 50-yard line guy, but the clock is stopped due to Persh's position. It catches him with the nade. Now you have Nero looking over the cross. I didn't think he was peeking. I thought he was just being holding this, but now you, was that enough time to get somebody in? Nero gets there. One more person standing, good luck. Two are there. It's close, but for Heretics, these last two maps, what, Ben don't break. They struggle at times, but they do enough to get the dub. And now it's back to back max back to back maps for Heretics. And man, man, midway through the search and destroy, we're thinking Vegas are running away with this series. Not looking that way now, Joe. No, it is not. Not at all. Uh, I mean, just a back and forth series or game, back and forth series. Numbers wise, I think when you have three defenses, you're, they're going to look a little bit better. Medals, though, 30. Two and 22 leading the way damage wise everyone just kind of right there and when you look at the stats of heretics from their first match pretty much the same thing everyone contributing on a very high level for the vegas boys they had a couple of chances offensively just not able to clutch on up sometimes you, you need a crazy multi-kill just did not come through yeah i'm actually i'm genuinely curious like had stanny won that last one on one like how they, well, they won i think you would have nero watching across would have been pretty close. Darn close yeah but that, he killed two before that or one? Oh, uh, two. Yeah, so I mean, uh, yeah, that's asking a lot. Yeah, triple. Yeah, 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 he had a player with him, but yeah, just the shots come in. They were on top of each other. I hit fire. And I didn't see how much health he uh, like, had exactly, oh, but he had much. just uh, the visuals on his screen, the blood and all the fun stuff that they do in Call of Duty, he looks very weak. <laughs> very red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the key here, key here, though, is once that eight point was done for Legion in that round four, just that B-hold from Miami Heretics. They deal with the cruise missile. They're able to push up that B-Shree and lock it down. And then a couple of chances here early. Sorry, throughout round number five. There was always just one more player from Miami to win that gunfight. Yeah, I think like, I don't know, of all the moments in that, my biggest thing for Legion probably is like when you had that early A hit, yeah. you just had to, you had to win that round. You needed to. And I, I'd have to go back and watch it but it still just felt like, yeah, when they had three there and one player coming off a of spawn, that like push for the retake was like, it felt like it was like half a second. Like they just cleared them off. Like two players, one died, two ran away. And it just, they never, they never saw that point again, which I just don't think it should have been that easy. I... Yeah, props to Heretics, what they're able to do. We're staying on invasion for game four is Heretics. It's been a close series, six, five, search and destroy, three, two control. I mean, they're loving Invasion, sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. Two out of three, they've been able to take that. Can they close it out? Uh, I mean, they did win all Invasion. I just, Why not? Great, that's their map, sure. <laughs> just invading the minds of Legion fans, it seems like it. But we're going to take a look at some of the hard point stats. We get ready for map four. Um, we're now going to check out Lucky versus Attach on how they've been thus far. Uh, you've only got one hard point played for Heretics, so not a ton. It is this one. Not a, uh, well, two, sorry, two played now with the, yep. the map one, but... Ooh. Yeah, I mean, uh, attaches, you know, putting up the numbers. I think the, the key thing is maybe the, the damage numbers are there for Lucky, but Attach has got that hill time. He'll do the objective, he does it all, but great numbers for Attach. And, and yeah, for Lucky, I mean, the one map that they've had played under their belt is, is an invasion. I think it was like a 250 to 225, so it was a close one in that first series. Yeah, I saw, I feel like last week was like literally either, either game fives, and listen, I'm exaggerating because it wasn't all this, but it was either like game fives or like super close three O's. Like, I, I felt like the, the three O's were all like 250 to 230, round 11, 3 2. Like, and then game fives is like all it was. And I know there are a couple of outliers, but there are a lot of close matches. And 
I don't know, in your like experience, like is it usually like this early on? Is that it's a factor of it being a new game or is it the competition being high right now? What's the deal? I think the spawns help that a lot. I, that, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I, especially in the respawns, right? Yeah, I mean, just with the hill locations, the spawns. Oh yeah, you think maybe they, they could be improved? Well, I just think you don't. Know, yeah. One of those situations where. Where Maybe the, they could be better. The spawn points are. They allow teams yeah. not to get punished as much. Okay, okay. Map four time. Here we go. Legion, can they win this and get to a map five? Or will Invasion be their tomb? It just might be. Journey. He's out and hitting early. As they look for control here of the hard point. Nice break so far, but first with the double. Maybe the opening. Listen, should I don't be, know. Should be the opening. For maybe, to get in. maybe one of the movies was good, but I feel like they were just not great. Every time you say Purge, I think of those movies. Wasn't there one of those that was all right? Some of them were horrible. You know, the ones where they just, like start. Oh yeah, they just kept making them. Yeah, it's like kept making them. Like we need like 12 of them or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's all I think about when you say it. Like they were really pushing for that holiday, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Someday maybe. Maybe not. Let's, let's, let's hope not, no. Speaking of birds, though, he's on the feet again. There were the tats. They're working, but Vickle. He's sliding. He's snapping. He's taking out two. He's on four in a row. I don't know if they'll be ready for Standy, though. You better split spawn chunks in. And yeah, hello, Standy. It's a free pinch, or I thought so. Metals is there. The nade connects the teamwork on point. But everything doesn't really matter, just Persia spawn is able to find two. Ooh, okay, yeah. Pinch from behind, not always gonna be free. Tabs, the beams look real clean till he start like drop off that ledge, then miss some shots, tough gunfight, ends up dropping uh already got like 40 seconds on the play till the clock is a ton of contests and just battles on the point early on, but as the chaos we take a breath. It's it's mostly kills for heretics, just fights all over the place. Just some insane heady battles. Just yeah. I, I mean, I, I imagine everything's a heady. They're just trip. shooting at a name plates more than likely, because I sure as hell can't oh. see those guys. I mean, if you just had your controller in hand, you close your eyes and you held forward. There's a 99 percent chance you're gonna end up on a heady job. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's statistically true. That sounds statistically true. Yep. In the point, heretics. Got teammates fanning out across mid-map. Journey doing what he can, just make sure they get near the point. He's doing a fantastic job of that. Almost the triple, but not quite there. Uh, the dumpster in his way. You were in his way? That's that's just cold, Joe. Just My cold. bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't I, sure if you were calling someone a dumpster or the actual dumpster itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's all right. I'll take that one on the chin, Joe. I don't, I don't get many very often, but Legion with the big break there, 30 seconds left. Uh, I mean, Heretics had a lot of early control, a lot of map positioning. Lucky though, already rotating over towards Treehouse 4 before the rest of his teammates had a fight for the scrap time. So far, so good with regards to scrap time. The other side of the map, it was Lucky maybe trying to set up, but he's not gonna be able to take that. New hard point, ready to pop. Metal's POV as he is surging forward. Already there will be Nero. Following him up will be attached. You're gonna have some action to deal with. Trying to get the second man. He's able to do that, but Nero is still there and get that information as soon as the hard point pops, sees somebody's inside. He's sort of waiting on some help. He's just cutting people off for now, making sure the extra players can't get there. Now gives himself a two on one of the point. Yeah, I love that play from Metals. But a uh, difficult one, lucky though. That's why you wait for the two-on-one. Yeah, able to win it. Attaches here, though, just climbs the ladder, wait for the stun to go away, shooting at a trophy, and then metals the journey off the of spawn with the rival nine, able to take this. And now you flip the spawns if you are heretics. You see Vickle's position locking down the map for P5. We know it's all about that money hill at Palace. And heretics have set themselves up for the bank. And this is scary, because uh, heretics get this time. You're maybe going up 100, 120. If you're Legion, you're starting to think, we, we got to Invasion, we may, may never leave this goddamn place. Like, we're just stuck here forever. Because they may lose all three. Granted, a lot of time, a lot of gameplay to go within this map four, but you look at that lead, you look at that mini-map, you know how this hold is. Things not looking good for Legion right now. So not right now. We have seen some brace, though. It's not possible. It's not it's possible. It's probable. It's, yeah, it's, it's just very difficult. Trophies down, difficult to get nades in. You're just not close enough to this hill, and I don't know if they're going to get close enough. A couple of players off spawn pushing this street. 
Vico one kill away from a cruise. He's the rotate man early on to give them the spawns for this. And there is the cruise missile. His investment pays off. Looking for number seven. Does get taken down. Already 30 seconds off the clock. Over to Heretics. Looking more and more comfortable. And well, with yeah. 20 plus seconds left, I think you'll take this if yeah. you are Legion. But. Oh, yeah, so you got you got your 40. You, you can rotate. You've got a significant lead. You're up 70. But yeah, I think it's more important for Legion just to stay in the hunt right now. But I think a Heretics has just stood out sometimes. You saw in the control and you know, maybe early in that hard point. Like when they get their setups, like they'll thrive in the chaos. This purge, chaotic, drops a triple. When they get their setups, like they can really just lock you down. Like it seems like they're, once they, you still use the word comfortable. Once they're comfortable, they're a unit. Right, they're going to need a break here. Maybe with uh, everyone dealing with the scrap time after that first triple. It's just medals winning the one on one. Getting inside the hill alongside a journey. He's on three in a row. And, and just look at the subs. Medals and journey. I've seen them mostly with rival nines leading the way. 34 and 24 as a duo. Putting Legion into a tough spot. Sandy just able to take him off the bar, but the rival is there again. Metal's able to come through, maintain this, what, 80-point advantage, try to build it back up. Metal just keeps on shooting. He's found a nice little sequence here inside the point. I think he's had, like, three wall bangs I've seen pop up <laughs> as well, just being a, a rat. 90 seconds now. There's that dog. I didn't hear the dog you Dude, said last time. I just I'll heard it. You, bro. Where they, where's, the, where's the dog? He's out back. He's out hanging back. out? He's just out back. He's yeah. pissed. On the other side of that green fight. I thought you made it up last time I'm you said it. I made it up. There Dude. is a dog. There is a dog. I wasn't kidding. They put a dog on the map. Oh, okay. But a cruise missile called in. Doesn't find much, but maybe he uh, gives them the info they need to get this break. His medals is now on five in a row. Can he find number six? He's going for some spawn kills, some cutoffs, but they got to deal with the players on the point. So while he's doing that, he needs his teammates to lock it in, but he does get the cruise missile. Yeah, he barely wins it. The stun comes in. Those fun uh, gunfights, not a blast, but he does it. And wow. you're staying in this if you're Legion, but like, I don't know, like, stay, I guess staying in it is the way I want to phrase it. Like, you're doing enough that you're not getting blown out, but like, when is it too little too late? I mean, props to Nero, though, right, for, uh, I mean, hanging on to that hill because. He was put into a very tough position where his teammates were off his spawn, dealing with medals on the spawn kills, and he just yeah. had to lock that down. They've had good moments that are just enough to like not lose right then, but when's the rally gonna come? Yeah, you need Once a break. down 90, now down 50. You need a break though. Yeah, you need a break soon, because you know uh, what Miami's probably gonna be thinking. Worst case scenario, we rotate to Palace and try to win this game early. Like, just give up the lead if we really have to. But maybe there is the chance. One player left Ooh. on the point, but Lucky looking over his teammate. Ooh. Metals probably with that rival. Didn't have a one-on-one. -on -one. This is really going to put the pressure on the Legion because you have P4 coming up next. Maybe Lucky starts to head that way. Challenge it now. The rival enough to at least guarantee that first gunfight win. Journey sliding around the corner. One tracking down with him. Pistol in. And the kill is there. See how many of these final 15 points they're going to be able to get. Okay, so that they'll get to 220, and that'll be that. So lead now 70 again. Every time Legion kind of get close, it feels like the leads get pushed out. But there's three in a row. Standing narrow. We'll line them up. Also, say that was a good kind of little segment there on both fronts. No, I mean, great, you get the next great point. for Legion, because not only did they deal with that hill, Standy actually won the first one-on-one -on -one versus Lucky and then held this position, got two more on rotation. If Standy gets taken down, P4 is controlled over to Heretics, the map is probably over. So Standy not having the best map stats-wise, but has kept them in this game based off of this rotation. But this is what I was talking about. They are going to invest in this Palace Hill. You already see Lucky staying. Vickle is staying. They're going to try to win it here. It makes me think like the, I don't even the control. Like you had to, you had to get that B break to win the game. Here you have the break palace to win the game. It is going to be an uphill fight for Legion if you were going to win. You're going to have to do one of the harder things in hard point to get the win. They're going to be trailing by about five points ish. As we get ready now for palace, can you get the break? In this moment. All right, cruise missile. Well, that is not what you want when you call a cruise. Your first player is just get taken down. Yeah, perfect. That, yeah. And that's because Journey was off spawn and he just stayed a street. He literally just stayed in that area. Very far pushed up. Metals. Metals with a double. 
Now it is a courtyard push from the rest of the team, but Journey is there still. Had to deal with him. 15 more seconds, and every time you need a multi-kill from Legion, instead it's a multi-kill for Heretics. Set. This is your last chance. 10 points needed for Heretics. Legion, one chance to break. They are staggered. They're in trouble. The wall bangs ripping down Vickle, though. He's giving up the window for a second. You got to get there, though. Just a couple seconds to go. Not going to happen. Heretics line it up. They drop map one. It is three straight invasion. Ends up being the grave for Vegas Legion. They can't get out of that one. Three straight for Heretics. Incredible stuff. Yeah, so uh, Heretics now up to 2-0. You know, it's kind of this conversation. How are they going to come out in the league? Maybe with a lot of fire. Maybe it would take them a little bit to just get used to the competition in the league. But a nice 2-0. What, they, they've beaten the, the Ravens in Legion? I think Legion...